Media Mark Weather Show. Let's get right into the weather. We have no sent viewer sent in photos or videos, so let's get right into precipitation amounts. You notice out west here, we've got some finally a system will move in come the mid, mid to latter portion of the week. We'll start to get some more activity as the pattern starts to flip around. And I'll have more details on that later in the segment. Take a look at the east here. This is where we got a good deal of interesting weather going on. Not the northeast, but it's going to be the southeast. Take a look at this. We've got a lot of moisture here. And guess what that moisture is going to translate to? Let's show you that later Tuesday into Wednesday map. There's later Tuesday here. Look at that frontal boundary, low pressure system forming across the Gulf of Mexico, bringing in that colder air, that first Arctic frontier across the east. We're going to see some snowflakes and some freezing precipitation across the Gulf Coast from Houston to New Orleans over to portions of the extreme northern panhandle of Florida, most of southern and central and northern Georgia for that matter, Alabama, Mississippi, over towards even most of Louisiana, and then we head over towards the Carolinas. That's where we're going to start to see more of the even heavier snow totals. We're going to see a lot of, I'll show you these snow totals here, as this system moves east. It should stay out of the northeast for the most part as the air is just way too cold and dry. And I get that reinforcing shot of cold air across the east. That's what's helping create this messy situation here along the Gulf Coast. Let's look at into the day later Wednesday and early Thursday. You see that system chugs off the coast here, but still a lot of wraparound moisture here across the southeast eastern Georgia, north, south and north Carolina, and extreme southeastern Virginia could get on the act here to, towards Norfolk, uh, towards Virginia Beach. This system winding off the coast here, it's not going to be a threat to the northeast up here, but it will drop six, uh, six to ten inches in the heaviest band of snowfall that I'll, I will show you. And that's going to be our focus here the next 24 to 48 hours. Let's take a look at that snowfall amount band across the area. Before we do, look at that system here in the Pacific Northwest cruising in. We start to get the north or the southern branch of the jet stream digging in. The northern branch will follow towards the weekend. So we'll start to see those lowering snow levels finally across the Pacific Northwest. Let's take a look at some of the snowfall amounts across the southeast here. I'm going to get it right off the map here because this is important. We've got snow and ice totals here. Uh, we'll, we'll take the snowfall totals first. Take a look at some of these snowfall totals here. We're looking pretty healthy snowfall totals anywhere from two to five inches from just mainly from I-10 on northward here from Texas, Louisiana over towards Alabama, Mississippi portions of Panhandle of Florida, Georgia, and extending over towards the Carolinas. It's when you start getting into the interior portions, they get start to get into those six to seven, maybe eight inch amounts here. And then you head on into the areas of mid and central northern Georgia, portions of the Carolinas. That's where we could start to get into those six to 10 inch amounts there. You see some of those amounts right on in here. That's where we're going to be a little bit more concerned about the Outer Banks of North Carolina heading over towards interior portions of North Carolina. That's where we could see the wraparound. So heavier snowfall banding is quite a possibility across this area. So we'll watch for that here at Meteo Mark. This is a very interesting weather situation, very interesting weather system for that matter. And let's take a look at those quick, those ice totals here, freezing rain. It's not going to be a major freezing rain, but these people in the south are not used to this sort of thing. Look at this here across the south, anywhere in these shaded areas, and then you get into some of the darker shading. That's where we're really going to see some freezing rain accumulation piling up, and that will be, you know, for the most part across portions of the Panhandle, Florida, South Georgia, extreme southern South Carolina, heading over towards the I-10 corridor, towards New Orleans, and then heading on south areas towards Houston. That's where we could get into the freezing rain possibilities. That's going to do it here at Media Mark. That's my focus. There is a pattern change hint here. There's going to be possible ridging in the east towards the weekend and possible troughiness in the west. We could be playing a sweat chair. That's going to do it here at Media Mark. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, Media Mark. Subscribe to me on YouTube at Media Mark. Here's a five-day outlook for my hometown viewers. The Susquehanna region of Upstate New York, Susquehanna region of northeastern Pennsylvania. Look at this. We've got 
We start off really bitterly cold here midweek. Can't even get out of the lows and the single digits, highs in the teens. But look at this, towards the weekend, we really don't have any major chances of precipitation. By the weekend, we could be seeing lows in the upper teens to low 20s and highs into the mid, low to mid 30s. That's uh, good news for those hoping for a little bit of a break from this polar vortex. That's going to do it here at MediaMark.